another new music service? I know. I know, but this one is actually pretty cool. I've checked it out. This is my opinion of Track Club. Let's talk about the most important thing right away, the music quality. Is the music on Track Club even any good? The short answer, yes, it is really good. The long answer, yes. But Track Club claims to have the best music of all of their competitors. Of course, everybody claims to have the best music. I think that pretty much sums it up. It really comes down to personal taste in the end. Which is why it's good that these music services allow you to create a free account on their site to listen to the music to see if it fits your style before you pull the trigger on getting an actual subscription. If you do that and check out Track Club, maybe it is the best in your opinion. That said, Track Club openly admits that it doesn't have the biggest library compared to its competitors and that's not its goal at all. But how much less do they have exactly? Well, they wouldn't get specific, so I rolled up my sleeves to do some investigation for you guys. Sorting all of their songs from A to Z, you get 14 songs per page. And at 72 pages, you multiply those together and you end up with a total track list of 1,008. But then factor in that the last page actually only has six songs instead of the 14. You subtract eight and you're left with a nice round number of 1,000 total songs, which is a far cry from Track Club's competitors. Now, is this number accurate? No, it's not actually. It seemed a little bit too round at the 1000 mark to not just be a UI limitation. So I went into a different area, which was their trending search. And here, here they've got 163 full pages totaling 2,282 songs. That might be more like it. So we know that there's at least that many. There could be more. I don't know. This would not be an issue if they just had their track count listed publicly. Either way, less selection than some other popular sites, but I do confirm that the quality is there. No sound effects, moving on. Now's a great time to reveal what I actually do really like about Track Club, something that sets them apart from the competition and might actually win you over. It's called Mixlab. So you've heard of stems on sites like Epidemic Sound, right? Each song is kind of composed of different instruments and you can break down those instruments into their individual tracks and then edit them however you'd like them for your edit, your video edit. Track Club takes this to an entirely new level. Track Club has an on-site song editor called Mixlab, which breaks down all of the different stems of the song and allows you to adjust each of them individually before you even download the song. That means you can turn some completely off. You can lower the volume of certain things like the percussion or the vocals if you wanted to. You can customize all of that without ever having to leave the website. This is a huge help because instead of dialing in like five different tracks in your video editor, you can do all of that on the Track Club site before even importing the file, which makes your file management way easier and your editing timeline much cleaner. It's really Really helpful to be able to hear what a song will sound like if you edit the stems without actually having to download those files and deal with it in your video editor. This is an absolutely huge innovation on the stem system and in my opinion it's very exciting. The rest of the UI is very simple, but it has everything you need. All while looking pretty good in this dark theme. They have a discover page, which I would honestly really never use, but they also have a lot of good pre-curated playlists. Almost too many. Do we need five different kinds of workout playlists? Probably not. Of course, you can create your own playlist too, or you can simply like a song, like click the little heart, and it'll go directly to your favorites playlist. The song search UI is, by a small margin, the best I've ever used. Each tag works independently, so you're always able to change any aspect of your filter without having to go back and restart like some of their, well, one of their competitors. Anyway, I wrote this down because I'm not gonna be able to list it. It would, take, it would take forever. Track Club has your typical mood, genre, vocal, instrument, length, and tempo filters, but they also have two unique filters that I've never really seen before. The energy filter where you can select chill to high energy songs and anything in between. And then there's this arc filter where you can filter things according to their dynamics, such as the build of the song, whether it slowly builds to the end and then drops off or whether it starts big and kind Kind of goes down slow or peaks in the middle you know there's all sorts of different options here and i find this very helpful especially if i'm working on something like a vlog where you're trying to match the mood of are we building up to something exciting are we coming off of something and maybe it's a disappointing thing or you're just kind of holding something steady which is a sort of song that i would have for a video like this 
actually clearing the videos is as simple as one would expect it to be of a site in 2023. You can and should link your YouTube channel in the account settings to have those videos automatically cleared. And for unlinked channels, you can simply generate a license number called track ID and place it in your video's description, which will automatically then clear the video. Finally, let's cover the all important pricing question. I've got to get my notes out for this because I don't want to get this wrong. Build yearly, the individual plan costs $12 per month and the business plan costs $39 per month. These jump up to $18 a month and $58 a month if billed monthly. So you're not paying for a whole year advance, you're just paying for the month to month. It gets a lot more expensive. This is typical. You see this with all of their competitors as well. At this price point, Track Club is a fair bit more expensive than their competitors, but it's still within reason if you really like their music curation or their mix lab feature. Now, if you're not sure that Track Club is for you and you wanna see your other options, check out this video where I list off my three favorite alternatives and review them like this.